So there's been a lot of shakeups going with Marvel recently, ever since Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania came out. That film single-handedly destroyed the careers of Victoria Alonso, the credibility of Kevin Feige saying that this is going to be the next big film since Endgame, and basically Jonathan Major's career. Well, I mean, he's pretty much responsible for that himself with his extracurricular actions, but this certainly didn't help. And it gets crazier from there, because the writer of that film was tapped to pen not only Kang Dynasty, but I believe Secret Wars as well. If he's only going to be writing one of them, being Kang Dynasty, it really wouldn't make sense considering they're supposed to be a two parts of the same film, more or less. I mean, they're coming out one year apart from each other, and originally they were supposed to come out in the same year. So it doesn't make sense to have them only do one and not the other. But I digress. Between all of this going on, the WGA writer's strike, the threat that the Screen Actors Guild and the Directors Guild will also be going on strike coming up shortly, and the fact that Marvel has had some incredibly subpar films come out in Phase 4 does not give me much hope about the future. Honestly, comic book movies have been such an integral part of my life as well as many others for years, and I hate to see the industry in this state. I would go out with my family every single year for a new Marvel movie release. And when the time came, I did the same with my wife. But now, every time a Marvel movie comes out, I just kind of get a feeling of dread and just a pit in my stomach where I just feel bad about whatever is about to happen. And it shouldn't be that way. And I hope it's not that way for others. But honestly, for a while, there's just been an incredible decline in the quality of not only the films, but the writing in them as well. And I am hopeful that this time off from the Writers Guild strike is going to give Marvel a chance to regroup and re-strategize moving forward and make some insane course corrections that will actually put them back on track to delivering quality that we all truly need and deserve. I mean, they must have figured something out considering they're dropping all of Echo at once on Disney Plus and not doing a weekly release like they used to for shows. Or, you know, like what they're going to be doing with Daredevil with a weekly release because they know that people are going to want to see it and stick around for it. And honestly, Secret Invasion has me pretty hyped up as well, considering that show looks pretty great, and it's a different take on something we haven't seen done in Marvel movies so far. I mean, besides Captain Marvel with the shape-shifting scrolls, but I mean, who really cares about that? And besides that, there's not much really coming out from Marvel that really has me hyped up. I'm hoping they're able to regroup after this writer's strike, and I'm hoping they're able to hit the ground running and really buckle down and figure out what they need to do to win back public appeal and really make a massive course correction on everything they've been doing for the last couple of years. Basically, since 2019, things have been on a steady decline. I mean, minus, of course, films like No Way Home, which is just incredible, one of my favorite Marvel movies of all time. I don't care if it's non-stop nostalgia bait. It's great. But I guess only time will tell. Comment down below if you also think that Marvel movies have been on a pretty steady decline in the last couple of years. Don't forget to check out the links in the bio of this video for more ways to help this channel. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.